Good evening guys and welcome to the Trash Picture Show. Today I was going through town and I stopped into another store on the outskirts of town. It was another toy store bar, the one I used to work at. It was called World of Wonder and they were heavily discounting a lot of their toys. This in particular, this is the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 from Hasbro. This isn't from Frozen Empire. This is actually the Afterlife variant of the Ecto-1. And I had to pick it up. I just had to, because guys, I had the original Ecto-1 as a kid. I got it, I think, for my fifth Christmas. And I absolutely loved that car. It was so badass. It had the gunner seat that you could push up on the roof. It had opening doors. The hubcaps of the Ecto-1 were chrome-plated. It wasn't mechanical or electronic. I think the only kind of mechanical feature was like this little grappling claw that came out of the back and you could wench ghosts into the back of the Ecto-1. But I loved it so much. But I used to play really hard with my toys and I broke off the fins and I just stopped playing with it and I gave it to my cousin. He was much younger and a lot rougher it was lost to time so i decided to pick this variant up and yeah it is it is the one from afterlife it's not the frozen empire version because the frozen empire version the artwork in the box is way different but the two main features that makes it different from this one is that one i think the walmart exclusive comes with a slimer and the drone that comes with it, the kind of drone kind of capture device is an aerial capture device whereas i think this one it's just like a little kind of rc kind of car if i'm not mistaken yeah there's the rc kind of drone that comes with it or trap and yeah it still looks pretty badass it still looks pretty cool uh, you've got the gunner chair that kind of pops out at the side and uh, i think that's mckenna grace's phoebe that's there on the side actually just have a quick look at the side of the box because it shows the four younger characters you've trevor uh, lucky domingo phoebe and podcast uh, hopefully adult figures fit in it because i got myself another one of the anniversary the 1984 anniversary figures and i'm also hoping my vintage kenner figures fit in this guy but uh yeah the artwork on the box it's pretty cool but it's nowhere near as awesome as the artwork that used to be on the original box. The one thing I loved about the original Ecto-1 was it came with this poster and it was kind of a collage of all the figures in a frame around this really cool image, kind of hand-painted image of the Ghostbusters in the Ecto-1 chasing Slimer. And for some reason, I don't know why, I think fucking Egon is on the boot of the Ecto-1. I, I, I'll put up a picture of it, but uh, yeah, I remember I had it on my wall as well and another cousin of mine uh, tore it off the wall. They were staying one night and sleeping in, uh, I had bunk beds at the time, sleeping in the bottom bunk. They tore the poster off the wall and tore it to bits. But yeah, it was such a cool fucking poster. That was another cool thing about the Ecto-1. The image is still pretty cool. It's still, it's still kind, of, kind of an illustration rather than a picture of the toy, so I'll give it that. Again, the motif is more generic. It doesn't say Ghostbusters Afterlife. So that's that's pretty cool. And the thing I like as well is they kind of this image here is kind of representative of the fin that goes along the back of the Ecto-1. I think the Ecto-1 was originally a hearse, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the original one was a hearse. And I think in the remake, the female-led remake was also a hearse. But yeah, guys, I am going to crack this box open and when i get it open we're gonna have a closer look so don't go anywhere i shall be right back Whew, the real ghostbusters will return after these messages And we are back and here is the Ecto-1 assembled and out of the box. And yeah, it's way, way smaller than the original Kenner one. 
It's nice though. I do like the detailing on it. A lot of the body of the original kind of Ecto-1, there was nice detail, but it was very kind of slimline in detail as well. It wasn't, it wasn't too intricate, but it was nicely detailed enough. And this is kind of the same. One thing I will say is some of the stickers are a bit difficult to put on and be careful when you're taking them out of the sticker sheet. But yeah, again, it's, it's nice. It's not as chunky as the original Kenner version, but it's still nice. There's still uh, a nice bit of detail in it. Feature wise, it has uh, opening doors here and here. And this kind of gunner seat pulls out like that. And there is a laser kind of proton laser that you can put at the bottom or you can actually put at the base here of the gunner seat. And yeah, that is, that's pretty cool. At the back as well, there is like the original, there's kind of a, an opening door and this remote control containment device or trap, Ghostbusters trap, which is pretty cool. And I'm just going on it there. Yeah, it doesn't hold a candle on the original one, but it's still nice. It's still pretty cool. It's, it's probably, it's probably just that I'm so nostalgic for the original one. Uh, figure wise, the one kind of issue I have with this, the seating seems to be only the gunner's chair and the main driver's seat. So I'm gonna try putting uh, Ray in the driver's seat there. Also, yeah, the, the steering wheel is molded. There's no kind of sticker or anything for the dashboard, which I think they should at least given, with all the stickers you got, you should at least given the kind of um, dashboard of the Ecto-1 a sticker. Let's see if I can fit this guy in. And yeah, this is, this is a bit tricky to fit the guy in because Ray's boot seems to be getting snagged on the steering wheel or steering wheel column. So what I gotta do old school, give it a bit of a squeeze. Yeah, he fits in all right. He fits in okay. Um, but yeah, that seems to be the only seat. You could put like one guy just sitting prone here, but I'm not too fond of it. Uh, there is a little kind of notch here for the newer figures that the hole for the proton pack, it's the same kind of shape, I think, lets you kind of hold them in one spot. I just, for interest, I just wanted to see as well, would the original Ghostbuster figures actually fit there? I'm terrified because this is my original Egon figure I got, uh, I think it was maybe when I was four. Christmas when I was four. And just see here now. Yeah, he does fit in. So the vintage ones do fit in. Um, I'm just a bit trepidatious about them getting broken. Let's see, I'll try another one. Because he, that Egon is like one of my oldest figures I actually own. You can tell he's, he's in rough nick. Jen actually got me, um, another kind of newer version, the kind of re relaunch version of these guys. And she got me this guy cause she knew I got him for Christmas. One of my earliest Christmases. Um, so let's, let's try Peter Venkman. Actually, no, Peter, Peter's arm. Peter's arm is too long. So that may not actually work. I'll uh, give it a go though. You could, you could put him on there. I'm surprised there's no kind of seatbelt or anything for the character. Yeah. Let's see how it closes up and stuff. Let's see. Yeah, that still kind of works. Peter still kind of goes in there. So that's pretty cool. Your vintage figures do fit in. Um, I'd say though the likes of uh, this ray, this kind of ray here, I don't think he'd fit in, but again, we'll give it a go and see. No, nope, helmet's way too big. So the helmet will definitely uh, stop them. Just trying all these guys now. This one. Yeah, that one seems to fit. Uh, his helmet is gone. 
By rights, he shouldn't fit because his helmet has actually went missing. But uh, he kind of does fit in. Kind of. So yeah, um, vintage figures do fit in. But so long as they don't have too much kind of equipment or helmets or anything. Peter isn't as chunky as, say, this ray here. So your vintage figures will fit in uh, so long as they don't have too big a chunky or clunky kind of fright features, which is still kind of cool. But, um, yeah, again, it's it's a nice modern interpretation. As I said before, there is some nice detailing on it. Like, for example, I like the fact that they, they've sculpted the handles for the windows and stuff. And just, you know, I, I wish they'd given a sticker for the dashboard, though, of the car. But uh, when you're closing it as well, guys, you gotta close this one first, and then the passenger door. And then when you're opening it, you gotta open the passenger door, and then the back door. But yeah, it's it's a nice version, and I like the paint work, I like the paint scheme, like the original. It's not too gaudy. I think they went a bit overboard with the Stream Ghostbusters Ecto-1. But uh, this one, yeah, it's a nice throwback. Uh, it shares a lot of the kind of uh, sculpts and shapes of the original kind of Kenner Ecto-1. Uh, particularly these. I don't know why, but these made me think of the original Ecto-1. But uh, it's just a lot more slimline. So yeah, guys, what do you think of the newer Ecto-1 by Hasbro. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and what was your favorite Ghostbuster toy growing up if you had any of the Ghostbuster toys. Did you have the original Ecto-1? Did you have any of the figures? Did you have any of the fight feature figures? Or did you have the firehouse? That was the fucking holy grail of collectors. Let me know in the comments below and uh, yeah, have a good one. Take care. Bye now.